Welcome back to Quilting Mathematics. Today we're going to look at um, the eighth quilt that happens to be in this series of 22, and it is called the Clifford Taurus. I finished this quilt in 1993, and it's approximately 40 inches by 40 inches on the side. The Clifford Taurus is um, one view of a four-dimensional hypersphere projected in a three dimension in three dimensions on a two dimensional computer screen. That sounds very, very fancy, but basically it's an object that is in four dimensions and exists in four dimensions, but happens to have a projection down to a lower dimension. This quilt was inspired by the work of Thomas Banshoff. And Bob, Thomas Banshoff has a beautiful book called um, Beyond the Third Dimension. I highly suggest it, and it may be the kind of book that you might want to read um, a second or a third time. My students were interested in Dimensions Beyond Three, and so this happened to be a great quilt to be working with them on. Notice how Banshoff has banded the actual torus here. It's banded so you can see the back side and the front side. And you can actually go on his home page and rotate this torus and see the different views that it generates from uh, rotating it in space. That's very, very fascinating. Well, to make things pretty simple, we can t call this a hypersphere. What it basically is, is a ball or a sphere projected up to another dimension. And so as it's projected up, projected up, to the fourth dimension, and this is all computerized. We have a hard time visualizing it, but Van Chas done that visualization for us. A ball or sphere projected up one more dimension does become this hypersphere. It looks like a donut and has um, applications. It really originally was um, thought of as not having any applications at all. However, in physics, we find that there's some. Um, some worthy uh, positions and velocity for pendulums that this particular Taurus helps us out with. These quilts are all 100% cotton. Uh, they are washable, and evidently this quilt in 1993 caused quite a stir. Found out about that in a magazine. <laughs> so the art world and uh, also the math world was really very, very surprised to see this quilt. Thanks for joining me today on this uh, little journey. Um, the next quote that we'll be looking at will be number nine in the series of 22. Have a great day.